Yo guys, welcome back to the channel. This morning I'm going to be hitting the 12k run and training at the EP Jungle in Manchester. Uh, I'm going to take you with me and show you what it's about. The lighting looks absolutely crazy, so it'll be good to see what that's like. This morning I'm aiming for a slower run, so it's a 12k. Uh, with a park run mixed into it as well. I like to mix it up a little bit, makes it feel a lot more enjoyable. Uh, so yeah, run to the wire forest, run around it, and then run back. So all in all, 12K. Gonna aim for a 22 to 23 minute run, nothing too much. Um, if I hit that, that considering two months ago, that would have been a PB easily. So if I hit that, that will be a good progression in terms of running like, like 4.30 pace. And yeah, let's hit the run. Two and a half K in, nice slow one today, not pushing too hard. Had a big training day yesterday, just enjoying the views. I'll see you at the end. 22.41 for a run that obviously didn't push. That would have been a PB about two months ago, so I'll happily take that. Run home now, get some food in, get hydrated. We're working on it boys, working on the hydration. And I'll catch you at home. So I've just arrived at the services now. I don't know about you yet, but like when I drive, I get so tired, like long journeys anyway. So it's best for me to like really break up with the uh, with the service stops. I'm gonna go get a KFC now, uh, just, to, <laughs> just to break up the journey. I think I'm about 50 minutes away, but I'm actually so excited to train at this gym. The lighting is like the strip hexagon lighting stuff. So I think it will look, look sick on camera. Uh, hopefully get some good visuals as well. Uh, and we'll go from there. But yeah, gonna hit legs. I don't know if I mentioned that already. Uh, gonna hit legs. So excited to see what kind of equipment they've got. Bit different considering it's not a functional fitness gym. It is a total all out bodybuilding gym. Obviously with hybrid stuff, like, you know, you're gonna have your, your bodybuilding stuff, your functional stuff, and obviously you're running or whatever egg, other exercises you wanna do. For me in particular, obviously I've got swimming and biking there as well. Uh, but yeah, in order to, uh, to, to maintain size and stuff, you've still got to hit that sort of training with the bodybuilding. So. We'll have a go, see what it's like, and I can always come back again if it's uh, if it's sick. But yeah, looking forward to it, and let's get some food. Food acquired, is it? Is that the word? I've had to wait forever for my food to come, though. So I'm for the rice box, chips, and a supercharger sauce. Absolutely bang on. Going to enjoy this, and then get to the gym. But I'm a good 15 minutes away. So far this week, uh, yesterday, I, yesterday I swam first thing in the morning at is a meal. Yo, so just made it now to Manchester. Um, gonna head over to the gym. I think in terms of, obviously it's not a functional fitness gym like I mentioned earlier. It's not about that. It's more literal just bodybuilding. But with hybrid, you are gonna have to do like your bodybuilding stuff. So having all the equipment possible is gonna be sick. Uh, so looking forward to that as well. I'll run through the session when I get there. Uh, but just fueled up now. Uh, got plenty of water in. I'm working on my hydration, boys. Making sure that's, that's key. That's really important for me. So as long as we're there with that, we're all good. Uh, I'm about 20 minutes away from the gym it's just outside of stockport so gonna head there now um it's pretty busy the roads are rammed so not gonna vlog on the way there uh but yeah i will uh, see you at the gym That's well that was mad stress to try and get here it's on a re it's called reeking mill i didn't realize that so it's re obviously reeking mill and then at the back of it is ep jungle so i'm gonna go in now see what it's about really really excited actually it looks cool you can drive past it you can see it always lit up like mad um so once i found it it was it's all right but yeah Inside the gym now, as six I thought it would be, pretty sick, the lighting is mad as well. So we're going to hit legs, squats first, before we're going on to some other, other machines. Uh, Start on the treadmill, going to hit five sets of five squats now, and then move on from there. Um, so one turn on the bar now, uh, to the condition that I did on Friday, which was literally brutal. Um, so swimming in the morning and then biking, which was 25k, uh, before then cross it on the evening. So just making sure I'm not pushing too hard, but at the same time pushing enough that we're going to make, make gains. So yeah, one turn on the bar, three sets, let's go. Last set now, working on to it. Uh, 110 again, finish, and then we're going to some unilateral stuff. I'll just help with the running. Uh, and then let's get a session done.
halfway through, so, so squats, split squats, RDL's done, crazy things planned uh, for the start of March, so I'm literally putting all my efforts into that at the moment, so I, I appreciate all the support you've shown me on these videos as well, so yeah, we'll go from there. That session didn't just didn't go as planned, um, I've left early, spent £15 on a day pass to see what it was like. Yeah. I'm just not feeling it one bit like the worst session I've had in a very very long time and I just didn't feel that session at all and you're gonna have this like I know it's gonna happen do you know what I mean like I'm 147 days away from my uh from my race uh but yeah I suppose this is just the reality of uh of training for certain things I guess pick up go again tomorrow swimming first thing and uh back into routine yo good morning I was gonna end the vlog after that session but I thought no I can't it's a bit too bleak and uh, obviously we're not all about that on this channel so going uh, for a run today it's now Thursday obviously that session was on Sunday so going for a run today um, I just want to show you these something yeah how sick are these socks sick as hell um, obviously these are from Pure Sport I'll drop the link in the description but they're just like bright enough I'm all about like wearing like Dark colours, black colours, etc. Uh, but these are these are pretty cool, can't lie. Um, in other news, I also need to buy my Ironman ticket. So I'm going to go for my run, and then we're going to come back, and we're going to do that. We're going to buy the 70.3 Ironman ticket to Bolton. That's then going to make it feel completely real, and it's going to be absolutely nuts um, to say we're actually doing it. But yeah, if any of you are like, what, you haven't even bought your ticket yet, I know, okay? Like, I actually am going to get it done, uh, and we'll go from there. But in terms of everything else, I need to tidy my room. So if you can see any boxes, you can't. Um, but yeah, it's uh, it's looking pretty bleak outside. So it's actually raining. Brilliant. It's actually raining. So today's gonna be a fun run. I've got pink socks on. So if anyone's in a, in a bit of a, a bleak mood, driving to work, hopefully we'll brighten someone's day up. But before I go anywhere, obviously if you know me, you'll know me well enough. Uh, shades are always an accessory to the run. So we've gone for the pink to go with the socks. I think that's a pretty cool fit. Trainer-wise, we're going to go for the Sacconis. It's a long run. I am tempted to buy some... Uh, oh, what are they called? Oh, I can't, I can't remember what they're called now. Uh, Invincible Freeze. I am going to buy some Invincible Threes later on too. So today's a bit of a spendy day. So before every run, I'll all... I don't know why I've still got these on. So before every run, I'll have a bagel and peanut butter. Um, just staple for me. Like, it doesn't affect my stomach touch wood. Um, it doesn't affect my stomach or anything, but I also obviously then have my freeze roll on that helps me with my shin splints. Uh, again, pure sport sorting me out. Uh, and if I don't use that one, and say for instance, or like after my run, I'll then use the muscle and joint balm as well. Obviously, when you buy that, you get a um, a little bag of that in here that has like a, a scalping, so obviously you can rub it into your muscles better. Uh, other supplements I'm taking in the mornings are the Ultra Magnesium. These are all going to be in the description below. Um, the Tonka Ali. And also cordyceps as well. If I'm saying that correctly, I'm probably not. But if I am saying that correctly, they're the three that I take. Um, and yeah, obviously the unwind uh, on an evening. My sleep has been unbelievable since then. So that's uh, that's something I always recommend taking supplement-wise. But yeah, that is this morning. Going to go get some food in quickly and then head out on this run. My pre-run fuel will always be uh, a bagel and peanut butter. Absolutely bang. But an electrolyte as well. Obviously a long run. Not one for gels. Um, I get a few of you message me about having, oh, like what supplements do you take around the run or do you take them while you're running? I don't. I, I don't think I'm running for, or I'm not running far enough to do that yet. Uh, obviously, once I've done this Iron Man, I want to be hitting like my half marathons, full marathons. And I definitely think I'm going to do an ultra as well. I think that'd be something that would be mad to bring to the channel uh, to try and document that as well. So, Definitely something we can look forward to. Um, but yeah, bagels uh, and obviously an electrolyte before, uh, and then just going, just going off that really. Um, but the weather is disgusting. I don't know if you can see on my shades; it's wet already. But like constantly, just yeah, drizzle, it's cold as well, absolutely freezing. So gloves will be needed, and uh, I will catch you on the run. Good start to the run. Just like absolutely tipping it down. But two. 2k in. Keeping oh, the heart rate at 140. Zone 2 the whole time. All this from there. See if I can. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm soaking wet through. This was waterproof when I first had it. It isn't waterproof anymore. Oh my god. To be fair, the cap and the glasses are doing bits. I'm not getting absolutely wind swept at all rain in my eyes so we're doing all right on that front but it's just wet and horrible but like i said earlier build resilience in times like this and you'll go further when it's you know these are the kind of conditions that you put your, put your mind to it and graft in it you'll go far that's 6k in 
halfway. Let's go. Last little bit now on the main road. Soaking before I mentioned it. Like I can literally feel water everywhere. But what part of the runner's high is hitting me quite hard at the moment. I don't know what it is, yeah. You run past cars and things and you're just like, yeah, sick. But you just feel good for it. Why is that? Put someone in the comments, let me know. Been a good run, maintain zone two and into zone three. I'm in zone three now for 25 minutes and then it'll be a five minute cool down and we'll be done and back in the warm. But yeah, feel good. Let's finish it. I think that is possibly the wettest run I've ever done. Right, so I'm about to commit to it. It's now costing me £368 because you have to do a processing fee as well, which is £33.50 on top of the £335. Oh my God. We've registered, we're done. Congratulations, you've registered for the 2024 Ironman 70.3 in Bolton. Oh, real now, innit? Real now. It's mad because obviously when you're training, my ticket or anything, but now I've got my ticket. Like it's actually gonna happen, do you know what I mean? Oh man. So that is my Ironman bought, that is also the hotel booked, uh, and I am taking a videographer with me. So it's gonna be a sick, sick trip. Um, we're gonna make it a whole, I wanna make it look like a movie. Like I wanna make it literally show you the whole experience from like my point of view, but also the fan point of view of what it actually looks like uh, to compete in a 70.3 as well. So really, really excited for this. Um, the one thing that I didn't actually take into any consideration before, um, starting this whole journey of the Ironman stuff. Expensive triathlon stuff is. Um, obviously started on a bit, of a, a bit of a downer with a poor leg session, but obviously picking it back up on a new day that's positive. So thank you ever so much for watching. If you've enjoyed it, please remember to drop me a like and subscribe to the channel. It really does mean a lot. And I'll catch you in the next one. Let's go.